What's up guys? Um, this is Tai Zen. Uh, welcome to our cryptocurrency.market channel. Uh, this is a uh, trading, investing, and entrepreneurship channel. Um, in this video, I want to talk about uh, a review of the uh, Bummering Lad um, Hospital. It's a, one of the most popular uh, medical tourist hospitals in the world. It's located in the city of Bangkok in the country of Thailand in Southeast Asia. This is uh, pretty much, uh, I've read in several places where it's the, considered the number one um, uh, medical tourist uh, hospital in the Southeast Asian uh, region. It's very popular among Southeast Asia, among the Philippines, among um, um, uh, the Middle East. Um, ever since the 9-11 uh, attack happened in America, um, a lot of the Muslim people were not allowed uh, to go into the U.S. or they cannot easily go into the U.S. So they've all been pouring into the uh, Bummering Lad uh, um, Hospital here, the International Hospital here in Bangkok. Uh, recently, I had a, um, two medical uh, things done uh, at the hospital. The first one was for my heart checkup. Many of you guys have been following my channel for a while. You guys know that I've had uh, three uh, heart attacks in the past, and uh, one in 2007, uh, one in 2012, and another one in 2013. I have eight stints in my heart, and a lot of people ask me, you know, um, how I had the heart attacks. It's simple. Um, I came here as a refugee from Vietnam to America and uh, grew up in my elementary school years working in the fruit and vegetable fields. I uh, grew up um, during the middle school years. Um, working in the uh, sweatshops in America and then in the high school years working as a ship doc and then later on you know um, uh, moved and lived in the ghettos and was hustling drugs uh, went to prison and came out and had to rebuild my life um, by the time I was in my you know mid 30s and all that time that I was broke and poor I, I believe that's what contributed to me having the heart attack because I was always stressed out growing up you know, being poor, it was very, very difficult. A lot of Vietnamese families came to America and somehow or another they became very wealthy. Uh, my family came from a very small village um, in South Vietnam and we did not know about making money. We did not know how to take advantage of the American uh, uh, um, uh, systems and, and the financial systems and the entrepreneurship systems. And so my, my parents did not know how to do that. And I did not learn how to do that until um, I was in prison and then put everything I learned into application once I got out, okay? So those years of poverty, I think, contributed to hardening my, uh, my uh, arteries and, um, uh, and all the crappy food that I ate while I was in federal prison in America did not help either, okay? So ever since I had those three heart attacks in America, um, I've always had to get like uh, annual checkups like uh, at least uh, once or twice a year. I like to go every six months and it was that time. Um, so when I went to Bummering Lad uh, Hospital, um, the checkups in America normally cost like $350 in the state of Texas, somewhere around that area. And it was at uh, UT Southwestern uh, Hospital. And they're a very, very popular hospital in the state of Texas and very well renowned. A lot of, they do a lot of research there, uh, very good cardiology. Uh, um, uh, center, and I had Dr. Um, Amit uh, Kara as my cardiologist. Uh, he's a really great guy, really smart, and helped me out tremendously with my heart. But now that um, um, I relocated to Southeast Asia, I wanted to uh, continue the heart checkups, and I just happened to find out that I was living uh, a few blocks, uh, like three, four blocks from Bumming Ride. Uh, Hosp International Hospital here in Bangkok. So I went over there to get a checkup and it's a lot more uh, cost efficient. Uh, the cost of checkups, the cost of treatment, I found out was significantly a lot less. So um, I wanna share with you guys uh, some of the things I learned while I was there, okay? Uh, for my heart checkup and recently, just a few days ago, I delivered uh, my third child there. Uh, it was a young boy, 5.4 uh, pounds. Um, he's doing great and uh, it was the, the easiest uh, pregnancy that my family has had and we had a really great experience at Bummering Lad uh, uh, um, Hospital. 
So I wanted to share my experience for my heart checkup and my wife's uh, uh, delivery of our third child there, the cost and everything. And what I noticed is the biggest difference between the, uh, um, the Bummering Light uh, International Hospital compared to uh, many American hospitals that I have experienced since I've always had problems with my heart. So I've had a few experiences uh, with a few hospitals in America and the quality that they have. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the cost, which is probably the, the, the primary reason you're probably searching for this video online. I noticed that in America, the cost of my just a, a standard routine heart checkup was about 350 bucks, like I mentioned. Over here, it was around 75 US dollars. Okay, so that's the uh, difference. Now, that's just the cost. The cost of the baby's delivery. Um, in the state of Texas, at the hospitals there, it can range anywhere from from fifteen, uh, ten to fifteen thousand dollars, all the way up to twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. Okay, to deliver a child in the state of Texas. Now, I cannot give you an accurate number. Uh, the reason why is because we had uh, health insurance and then we had to pay out of pocket. So it's really, really difficult to calculate the exact cost of medical. Uh, uh, um, service in America due to the insurance, due to the uh, deductions and everything that you have to pay and the bills don't always come all at once so you can see it because when you get treatment in the hospital in America your bills are, are, are you are billed for it usually after the treatment like 30 days after the treatment and the, the cardiologist will send you a bill his, his office will send you a bill, the, the x-ray people will send you a bill, the people that do the MRIs will send you a bill, the people that uh, do the blood test will send you a separate bill, and then the ER or the emergency room or any of that. So pretty much everything is separated and they each bill you separately. So it's really difficult to say exactly how much the, uh, uh, the actual bill is. For my first heart attack, uh, when, it, when it happened in the city of Austin in the state of Texas, um, I know that I got a bill that was like around $130,000 for uh, to put four stents in my heart and I stayed at the hospital for like I think three, four, five days um, uh, when I had my first massive heart attack. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the emergency room because I almost died and I had to stay there for a while to recover from the uh, stent procedures. And that was the biggest chunk that I saw when I first had my first heart attack. Now over here the procedures, the, the most expensive procedures for a uh, heart procedure, I think goes anywhere from uh, $6,000 all the way up to like $20,000. You can see the actual prices on the, um, the uh, 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 Bumbling Lad uh, uh, Hospital uh, website. So you can just see it there. Okay, I'll have a link to the website below the uh, video here and I'll also have a link to the uh, Google Maps of where they're located right below this too so you guys can follow along okay so those are uh, the the cost is definitely significantly lower for most of your normal procedures that need to be done okay now the reason why I'm sharing this with you is that part of creating life-changing finances uh, in the world right is making sure that um, you have good medical service so that you stay alive to spend the money that or use the money that you create okay uh, when you guys follow our channel the other thing too is that um, that's medical service is one of the most uh, uh, expensive areas that you have to spend a lot of money on as you get older so I'm 47 years old now um, and because of that the, the, especially that I've had three heart attacks the medical cost is much more significant than it was when I was in my teens or in my 20s or in my 30s okay now the other thing too is that um, in addition to uh, cost they accept quite a bit of insurance here okay um, okay let, 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 before I jump into the insurance part, let me just talk about the, the uh, cost, uh, finish up with the cost that I mentioned earlier. I forgot to mention about this. When you guys come into Bummering Lad uh, uh, International Hospital, they have a billing area, right? That's, I mean, it's massive. Like, you go into this hospital, it's really big, and it's the, the, the cashier area where you pay your medical uh, bills. They are going to have like 14 counters 
there are seats everywhere. It's it's place. I mean, they do a lot of volume here, and and so there's a lot of people that come through here. Uh, matter of fact, when you come uh, uh, in, there's always people that are paying off their uh, medical bills, and they're just constantly just all day long they're processing bills. So when you go there, it's really it happens very very quickly. Okay, now when you guys come here, okay. Um, the other thing that besides the cost, I think the other thing that's important to talk about uh, with the hospital is the uh, um, the processes and the systems and the experience that you get um, and the quality of the treat medical treatment. I've only had a heart checkup. I've had I have not had any stents put my in my heart. I've not had open heart surgery or any of that stuff yet. But I'm gonna just use my uh, third child's delivery costs. Uh, and experience there and I'll use that as a comparison to the American hospitals where I had my first two child ch uh, kids in an American hospital versus um, the third one that I had here in uh, Bumring Lad uh, International Hospital, okay? First of all, when you come into Bumring Lad uh, uh, International Hospital, from the very beginning when you, it's very it's in a very crowded uh, downtown area of Bangkok and it's when you go there, there's always like every time that I've been there, I've been there multiple times already, and every time I go there, there are six to seven traffic cops or police that's constantly directing traffic. It is a very high volume uh, a patient hospital, uh, and at first when I went there and I saw all these people coming in, I, I was very surprised. Uh, I, I'm not gonna say overwhelmed, but I was just very like surprised at how many people come through that hospital and how many people of different nationalities. I mean, when you go through the hospital, you are constantly hearing Chinese, Japanese, Korean, uh, Arabic, um, uh, Hindi, and all kinds of languages spoken throughout the hallways, throughout the food courts, throughout the cafeteria, throughout just everywhere you go, they're constantly a law. It is, they are not kidding when they say that it's an international hospital. You will hear lots of people there, okay? Now, when you go there, um, as soon as you come in and you see the high volume of traffic and the traffic cops there directing traffic, there's taxis coming in, there's grab drivers coming in, dropping people off and everything, right? You'll also notice that around the hospital there's lots of hotels, condos, and apartments for rent, okay? Because they know that it's a heavy uh, medical tourist hospital, so a lot of people go there to rent hotels, condos, apartments to stay there to get their medical treatment, and the immigration office that is here in Bangkok, which is located north of, uh, of the downtown area. It's about a 35 minute taxi drive that costs less than 10 US dollars. It's usually right around the low uh, 200 baht range uh, from 220 to 275 uh, uh, baht, uh, baht uh, to go from uh, the downtown hospital area to the immigration office. It is one of the biggest immigration offices you will ever see in your life. Um, I am, it is, they, they process so much volume for tourist visas, uh, medical visas, all kinds of stuff, spouse visas, that when you go there, it, it's really shocking how many people that they can process in one day and how efficient the Bangkok government is in processing the immigration visas for everyone, okay? so. They, the, everything is on a large scale and it's very efficient here in Bangkok, okay? Uh, the government does an excellent job in processing all government documents and everything and the hospital is also very efficient in what they do. Um, they are so efficient when you go there that if you come from an American hospital, um, you might be shocked and you might even be afraid that they are not ha going to have a good quality of service, medical service for you but that is not, I do not find that to be true at all. The quality of service, uh, of medical service at Bumring Lab International Hospital, I would say is equal to or better than the multiple American hospitals that I've been to uh, when I lived in America, okay? The biggest difference that you'll notice when you come into the Bumring Lab uh, uh, International Hospital is that they they have a luxury feel. They have a four or five star hotel luxury feel. And when you go throughout the, the entire time that we were there to deliver our third child, it was like a hotel resort 
vacation experience and you're just happening to be getting a medical treatment or service or delivering a child uh, on the side okay that's the feel that you get okay it does not feel like an American hospital where when you go into an American hospital it is very obvious the way that the hospital setting is set up the way that the staff treats you just everything lets you know that you are there for a medical treatment and not for a vacation or a resort okay whereas the Bummering Lad uh, uh, International Hospital the entire time that we, we were there from day one to the multiple trips that we went back and forth to get my heart checkup and to get the uh, uh, delivery uh, the, the pregnancy checkups it was always you always get this feel that you're at a hotel or at a resort and you're getting a medical treatment so I, my wife and I we both like that because it helps to ease the pressure the stress and sometimes when you go into a, a uh, American hospital, it, it's so antiseptic, it's so clean, it's so uh, um, the, it's medically professional that the, the, the whole time you're there, your, your mind is constantly stressed out, in my opinion, about the medical procedure or treatment. Whereas over here, you don't experience that the entire time that you're in the hospital until the medical treatment or the delivery actually happens, right? Then that's when you'll notice that you are getting a medical treatment. But outside of the immediate time that you are getting the medical treatment, the entire time outside of that, uh, it's pretty much, uh, it seems like a hotel resort experience, okay? So I believe that that's very helpful, just as, especially if you're going through some big medical procedures or treatments, I believe that that's very helpful mentally um, to help you get the um, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, to reduce the stress of going through the medical procedure um, I've never had cancer I've never had you know like you know um, uh, uh, orthopedic surgery procedures but I would imagine that if I had to go through any of that stuff that I would want to have the least stress and the best comfort that I could while undergoing that medical treatment so the hospital is extremely spacious. Let's talk about the spacing inside the architecture of the hospital. Um, outside, the traffic is, is very, very packed. It's very crowded. It's always busy. I've never been to the hospital where it's not busy, okay? And one of the things that I was always concerned about was that even though I live like three, four blocks from the hospital, I was always concerned that if my wife went into labor and she needed to deliver the child, or if I have a heart attack or something again, and I gotta rush to the hospital, how am I going to get through that traffic? In my opinion, it's even worse than New York traffic, okay? It's worse than downtown LA traffic. Um, and how would I get to the hospital, even though I'm only four blocks away? Um, there are several means of transportation to get to the hospital. You can either get on a motorcycle taxi, you can get on a uh, three-wheeler motorcycle taxi called the, the tuk-tuks, right? Or you can just get in a regular taxi, okay? Believe it or not, somehow or another, every time we go to the hospital, we're able to get there, okay? Despite it looking like it's extremely busy with traffic everywhere, somehow or another, we're able to get there and it works. I, I cannot explain why it works, but the way the traffic system here uh, to the hospital, somehow or another, the taxis, when they know that you're getting to the hospital, uh, they, get, they figure out a way to get you there, okay? So I am not too worried about that. The hospital also has limousine and taxi service, uh, their own taxi and shuttle service in-house. So if you need to schedule a pickup or something, they're available to do that also. When you arrive at the hospital, I want to talk about the architecture and the spacing inside the hospital. Although outside the hospital, everything seems crowded and congested with traffic, the minute you step into the hospital, it is very spacious. The feng shui of the hospital is very good. When you come into the front lobby of the hospital, it looks like a hotel check-in lobby experience. It does not, when you, like I said, the only time that you realize that you're in a hospital and not at a hotel resort area is when the medical procedure actually happens. The rest of the time, it feels like you're at a hotel resort area, okay? Um, when you go into the front lobby of the hospital, they have on the second floor, you can, it, it opens up into the second floor and you can see the cafeteria, the food court area, and it just looks very, very nice. And they have 
uh, American uh, um, uh, uh, restaurants there, and they have Thai restaurants and Japanese restaurants. They have a little bit of each uh, uh, major category of, uh, of, of internationalism in there so that people can enjoy the food. And the food is nice. Uh, you gotta buy like a, a coupon debit card that you use and you go to each food station and you can order the food that you want and when you finish you bring it back to the cashier and they'll refund you back the currency that you have okay as you go through the hospitals into the elevators they have multiple elevators the volume of patients in the hospital is so big that the host the elevators are in constant use okay if you do not have like a serious need to use the elevators uh, I would just use the escalators. Um, they even have a sign outside of every floor and they recommend that if you are just going up one floor, please use the escalators. If you're going down, uh, and uh, please use it, the escalators or the stairs if you're going down two floors and reserve the elevators for only when you need to go above uh, one or two floors, okay? Above uh, uh, more than one floor. Now that, the, the, that they, they, uh, ask people to do that, but if you decide to use the elevators for more than for the one floor only, they're not going to say anything about it. Okay, so it's not like they they don't allow you to use it. Okay, so they're just there's such amount of high volume of traffic going up and down the elevators that they just recommend that you guys use the elevators, uh, the escalators, or the stairs uh, when possible. Okay. Um, the other thing too is when you go into the rooms, the hallways are very wide. Outside in the hospital hallways and inside the, uh, um, the uh, uh, rooms, okay? Uh, the, the hallways inside the rooms itself are big enough to push a large size wheelchair, um, like two lanes, okay? So it's, it's, it's very, very big. And the doors are big. Everything is just big and spacious um, inside the hospital uh, uh, building. The other thing that is very, that I like a lot is that when you go inside the actual uh, patient rooms themselves, the bathrooms have, in my opinion, the best safety for the patients, okay? Especially for elderly patients or patients who suffer from seizures and, and have problems falling and stuff. The, the, uh, when we were inside uh, the floor number six for the post-delivery uh, um, of the child, when my wife was recovering, the bathrooms are amazing. Uh, they have the best, in my opinion, safety rails and safety handles and safety of everything that I can imagine out of any hospital I've ever seen in America, okay? So as far as the, uh, um, the, the safety inside the bathrooms and inside the rooms go, I would say that it's much better than any hospital I've seen in America, okay? The other thing too that is really good is inside the rooms they make it big, spacious, and they have uh, microwaves, sinks, small tables for you to do your work on while your uh, loved one or your family member is getting the treatment. So you can, when during the hospital, uh, uh, medical procedures and treatments and packages that you you purchase there, it also comes with these different rooms. You can get, you can even get a penthouse suite inside the hospital if you want. If you want a room with two beds in it so that your wife is there for the delivery or your family member is there for the treatment and you want to stay there overnight with them, they have that available. Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, in the room that I was in, uh, we chose the room that had a couch in it. So I slept on the couch while my wife was on the hospital bed uh, waiting for the delivery. And I was kind of, I was very impressed because the couches in America, inside the hospital rooms, they are never long enough for a six foot tall person to uh, sleep in it, okay? You always have to bend your, your legs. In these couches that they have in these uh, patient rooms, they are very long couches. They are long enough for a six foot five person to lay in there with their feet straight and still have a few inches of extra room so they're not scrunched up. And if you want to save money or you don't care about where you, uh, sleeping on a couch with your family member, then I would recommend those rooms. If you want a bed in there, you can get that. If you want a luxury penthouse suite, you can also get that. So whatever options that you want, you can get it, okay? Now, inside the rooms, they have huge windows in there so that when you're inside the patient rooms, uh, and I'm talking about for the delivery, uh, baby's delivery here, guys. I don't know if you were here for cancer treatment or maybe, you know, uh, joint replacement or something like that. Maybe you would be in a different room. So I'm only sharing my perspective 
of having my wife deliver a third child, and this is what we saw. In the third, uh, uh, in the patient room, they have massive windows on one wall, and it's like looking out straight out into the city, and they also have garden paths outside that room for people to walk around on, and it's very, very nice, very beautiful, and, and very peaceful and very uh, tranquil to help you know people recover from their medical treatments if they need to. So I highly recommend if you're able to walk out there to go out, walk into the gardens out there at the hospital because it's very, very nice and very relaxing and peaceful, okay? Um, whoever designed the hospital, um, I would have to give them two thumbs up for the architecture and they had a lot of Asian feng shui, uh, you know, to make sure that the hospital as you go through it has a very flowing, uh, a very nice architecture, and it flows well. The rooms are very modern, okay? They don't look like a typical hospital room. The patient rooms, all the medical equipment are hidden and recessed inside the walls. So for example, like when my wife was delivering the child in the Texas hospitals, they would have the massive lights above uh, the ceiling, and so when my wife was laying there, she can look up and see this gigantic light that's going to shine down on the baby while they deliver, uh, pull the baby out, you know. Here, all that large medical equipment that you normally see inside a patient's room is hidden inside, uh, and it's kind of hard to explain, but they have like secret walls, secret compartments that are inside the walls of the hospital, and they put all that major medical equipment in there. So when you come into the room, your eyes don't see that this is a hospital room. You just see it as a regular, very modern, very contemporary uh, uh, hotel or resort room. And then when it was time to deliver the baby, it was the room was like a transformer. They would just open up different panels in the walls and all this medical equipment would just come out of nowhere. They would finish delivering the baby and would just, in a very short period of time, all that medical equipment was put back in. So you really never even get to experience the quote unquote hospital feel uh, but for a very brief moment when the medical procedure was being done and then as soon as it was being done all the medical equipment all the major large medical equipment is pushed back into the secret compartments inside the walls and, or, or the cabinets and and I call it secret compartments because the way the cabinets are built it's seamless and you don't see handles you don't see anything in the room when you walk in there to give you the the idea that it's a hospital the only thing that gives it away is the uh, on in the walls there are special plugs for like oxygen tanks and just small plugs that they really cannot hide they have to leave it exposed so the nurses can use it and those are the only uh, indicators that you are in a hospital room otherwise the flat screen TVs are recessed into the walls everything just looks very clean and very modern and you don't get that hospital feel uh, you you all the time you just get that hotel resort feel and that's I think is is very very nice uh, okay um, the other thing too that uh, I really like about the hospital is that compared to an American hospital is that in the American hospitals the nurses wear these outfits uh, that are called smocks and they're clean and nice and everything but they look like uh, pajamas okay uh, that you wear to go to sleep in okay whereas over here the uh, uh, Bummering Lab uh, International Hospital, all the nurses and every staff, whether it's the porters, the people who push your wheelchairs, all the staff are dressed very, very professionally. Like the nurses here are dressed so professional that if they wore those outfits at the bank, uh, they would look completely in place. Whereas uh, if you took an American nurse the way they are dressed and you put them in a corporate setting they would not look like they belong there okay whereas these nurses they look very very professional like there you never get the sense that they are incompetent okay and most of the nurses nurses here they speak English so if you come here as a, a medical tourist uh, to the hospital um, I would highly uh, 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 you would be highly uh, ple and pleasantly surprised at how professional the nurses are here okay and when you go to the uh, when I was at the American uh, hospitals the nurses um, they would joke about football they would joke about sports they would talk about all these different things you know what's uh, in the mainstream uh, uh, media and things like that 
Uh, and, and that's normal. I mean, I'm okay with that, okay? I don't have a problem with that. But over here, the, the way the nurse, they are very professional. They don't talk about sports. They don't talk about anything outside of what they are doing for you. Uh, if you, uh, uh, um, the, there's very little informal small talk. Everything is very professional. When the doctors come in to see you, it's very, very professional. The doctors here are treated with the utmost and the highest regard. You know, whenever you go to medical school in America and you hear about the prestige and the honor of being a, a, a licensed medical professional or a doctor like that, right? Um, you hear that, but when you go and you actually become a doctor and you work in the hospitals, you don't get that feel. You don't see that air of, of honor and respect for a doctor in America. But over here, it is extremely, extremely honorable and extremely respectful for someone to be a doctor. When they come into your room, all the doctors actually have a nurse that accompany them as an assistant, right? So it's, they never, it's, I don't think I recall ever having a doctor come into the patient room without a nurse following them as an assistant, okay? And that's on top of the nurses that are already there inside the room helping you with the room, okay? Speaking about helping with the room, another thing I really like, all right, about the hospital service here at Bumringlad uh, International Hospital is the cleaning service. They come in and clean your room twice a day, which is extremely nice and extremely, I was doing some work and, 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 and you know, doing some trading and stuff, uh, cryptocurrency trading while I was there at the hospital waiting for my wife to get delivered and it was just very nice to be able to be in an environment still do my work while waiting for my wife to get delivered and um, and still be able to uh, you know drink a cup of coffee uh, make my coffee they have coffee machines inside the rooms inside the patient rooms and then turn around a few minutes later and everything's cleaned up and everything's refreshed I didn't have to wash any dishes any coffee cup I didn't have to do anything like you, the, the, they do everything they can, that in my opinion, to reduce the amount of stress that anyone has to go through while they are getting the medical treatment or procedure there. So um, that's, uh, uh, those are all the things that I experienced at the hospital. Um, I'm sharing this with you guys because I've had lots of hospital experience in America. It's been very costly. It's been very time consuming and, and it takes a lot of time over here. Uh, you can get so much done in very, very little time, okay? And I hope that this video review helps you guys out. You can leave some comments if you have any questions. I was not paid by the hospital to make this review. Um, I've had lots of hospital experience before, and I made this video to help uh, 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 my subscribers and the people that follow me on the Internet, okay? Um, thanks for um, uh, watching this video. If you guys like it, give me two thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, uh, give me a thumbs down, and I'll stop making these hospital reviews, okay? Um, part of the things about making life-changing money is making, have, being able to reduce the cost of medical services, okay? And I hope this video helps you guys out in some way in your family to reduce your medical costs. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.